Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can probably tell, I'm not at home. I'm in the library study room because I just went to the Midland Spartan Day and I have a little bit of time to kill because transit service to my area is terrible on Saturdays. So I just wanted to address something that I've been getting asked about a lot and that I guess people have kind of been complaining about and that is the title of this video, Why Do I Care? And Why Do I Keep Posting About Political Issues and VTA and trying to get people involved in different things and trying to get people to go to meetings. If you've been following me for a while, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that I have been involved in politics and activism for many years, for longer than I've had this channel. But I've never really sat down and explained why this is important to me and you know why I care so much, I guess. I've made a few videos about this in the past and I'm pretty open about this on social media in general. But I did grow up in the family court system when I was younger and I did not have a good experience with that. There are a lot of times where I wish that policies were different or where I wish that someone would stand up for me. I started reading about policy at a very young age. I read a lot of Schultz and Cain books. I learned a lot about Bay Area political history and activism. I started to look up to people in the past who actually had the courage to fight for what's right and create a change in their communities. So even before I actually started to take action and to stand up for myself and to stand up for others, I really did want to be the type of person that would stand up for what they believed in. I guess the first thing that a lot of you may know that I was involved in was when the Archbishop of San Francisco uh, put in morality classes and I got involved with the teachers union and I was standing up for them. And a lot of you have probably seen me talking a lot about VTA recently and I just promote a lot of community meetings that are happening in my neighborhood and that's because I genuinely believe that I can have an impact and I genuinely believe that everyone watching this video can have an impact. I don't want to be in a position where something bad happens and I feel like I could have done something but I didn't do it. I think it's really important to be informed about things and to just understand what's going on in your community and understand what issues other people are facing. I started out my VTA advocacy mostly just advocating for students but as the process went on, I found out that there were three blind people riding the route. I found out that there's a lot of seniors and veterans. And as I heard their stories and as I learned more about them, I started to really care. I'm going to try not to make this video too preachy, but I will say that, you know, I think it's important to talk to other people and, and hear their stories and hear their perspectives and not to just stay in your bubble. My explanation isn't really that long, basically. You know, I just want to be the type of person that I needed when I was younger. And I felt like an underdog for so long and I, I still do to some extent. So I really want to fight for people that do need my help and I just really want to have as much of a positive impact on the world as I can in the time that I have. I grew up caring about these things. I grew up having the government negatively impact my life. So that's why I care now. I'm not trying to convince anyone to do anything. I just want to offer an explanation. And, and I also want to talk about not only why I do these things in my own life, but why I post about them on social media. The reason behind that is that you know, maybe someone will see one of my posts and maybe they'll be inspired to take action or do something. I don't want to not post something and then regret it later and say, oh, maybe if I had posted that, someone else would have cared and someone else would have done something. There have been maybe 10 or so people that have actually submitted comments um, against the elimination of Route 65 and that have registered to vote because I posted something on social media. So I definitely know that my posts do impact some people. The percentage of people is very, very small. I know that most people probably followed me for my college content and I haven't really been posting a lot of that recently because you know there are issues right now that are a lot more important to me than that and, and when I get involved in activism it just kind of takes over my life and it really does become kind of like the one thing that's always on my mind so it's hard for me to be as passionate about you know making college videos or making blogs or other things that I used to do more often so I think that's pretty much my entire explanation if you have any questions feel free to comment down below I would be more than happy to answer them and if you want to unsubscribe and unfollow me after seeing this that is totally fine I personally want to use my platform to try to get people more involved in their local communities and try to get people to stand up for what's right. If you have a problem with that, then feel free to unfollow me. This is something that's more important to me than anything else in my life. So I guess that's it. Um, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who recognized me from YouTube at Edmund Spartan Day. I really enjoyed talking to you all. And despite everything that I just said, I will be posting a new updated orientation video as soon as I get more information. It's probably going to be posted sometime next month. So if you have any questions that you want me to answer in that, feel free to leave them in the comments below. So I think that's everything that I want to say for now. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I, just, I really want to be honest with you all and, and explain why I do the things that I do and why I stand up for the things that I stand up for. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.